So this comes from the end of uh, Daf 14b, Yudalid Amud Beis. Rabbi, and it comes through onto the next page. Rabbi Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan said, uh, He who wants to accept upon himself the yoke of the king, the kingship of heaven, uh, c- completely in a complete manner. He should uh, relieve himself and wash his hands. V'yaniach tefillin, don tefillin, v'yikra kriya shema v'yispalil. And he should perform the recital of shema and, and daven, and pray. V'zo hi malchus shemaim shleima. And this is a complete um, acceptance of heaven's sovereignty. He should wa- relieve himself, wash his hands, don tefillin, perform the recital of Shema and, and pray, which means uh, pray the Amidah. And and so like that's that's an interesting set of, of activities. Um, and I think the idea is that if he doesn't relieve himself, maybe he'll have to interrupt later to relieve himself. So if he relieves himself, then he'll be able to completely focus on his prayer. And then, so I find that that alone really interesting. That that makes it into the um, description of what constitutes a, a perfect service. Um, this idea that, that all these lofty matters like tefillin and the and shema and and amidah and with you know these purifying matters of washing one's hands, but also like the the very the very basic physical requirements of things. He relieves himself first. All of this is part of the complete acceptance of he- heaven's sovereignty. If one wanted to, one could even go into the, the Hasidic aspects of this, about how the very purpose of, of the creation of the lowest world is to, um, is to what is it, make a, make a dwelling place for the divine, so to, to bring the sovereignty into the lowest la- levels requires the purifications of the, of the lowest levels, specifically, um, how is it the poet says it? Of, of pure ablutions around Earth's human shores. I think that's Keats. Okay. Um, then there's a bit of a discussion on uh, the uh, the merits of washing one's hands. And Ravina said to Rabba, has the master seen this young uh, rabbinical student who came from the West and stated, one, one who does not have water to wash should clean his hands with earth or with pebbles or with chips of wood. Rabba said to Ravina, he said, well, for is it written, I wash with water in the in the verse? No, it says, I wash in cleanliness. So anything that cleans may be used to prepare for prayer. Um, and uh, indeed, Rav Chizda condemns one who goes after water for, at the time for prayer. So Rav Chizda says, Betty should pray at the right time, then make a big deal of going for the water and maybe uh, miss praying at the right time. And this uh, ruling is to recite the Shema. However, with... Um, to prayer to Amidah, one, one goes after water that he needs because Shema is, is more um, time limited. Ah, the yeah, Adkama, and how far does, does someone go to get water? Ad Parsa, until a Parsa, which is four mil. A mil is like uh, about a kilometer, roughly speaking. Veheno um, Mile Lakame, and this ruling is applies if the water is before him. So he's traveling, and there's there's gonna be a water source coming up within a post. So travel and get the water, and then um, cleanse yourself, and then pray. If it's bef- behind him, then even a mill he doesn't go. So that's uh, one quarter of a pass he doesn't go. About a kilometer he doesn't go. And then from here, mill who the a kilometer doesn't go. But less than a mil he goes. Someone's traveling and it's time for prayers. Maybe he can just clean his hands on some pebbles or what have you. But better if he has water. So if there's water coming up less than four mil, less than four kilometers, then go get some water. Or if there's water behind you and it's less than one kilometer, go get it. But otherwise, just uh, cleanse yourself with some pebbles or dirt or something. Um, I, I feel like, first of all, there's a romanticism associated with these... these uh, sages traveling along the road and having like to stop between water sources and plan out that route. I really love that, that the imagery of it. It's very Frank Herbert Dune, very good. Um, the water disciplines. But also um, I, I like this, this sense of uh, lining up one's um, 
activities around being able to discharge one's spiritual duties well. So it's it's like if you're traveling and you know that there's going to be some water coming up, you can travel a bit further to get it. You kind of want to pitch camp ahead of the water so that the next day you're traveling, you'll, you'll reach some. Um, and it's uh, it's more of a schlep to go backwards. The better we should be, we should find ways to um, always be be advancing and in our advancing to advance in all things to um, go further down the road and also to be um, further in our spiritual matters and they should uh, strengthen each other many blessings Shavuot Tov